Uh, we have Band Dunes, Band Spaceport. So we are going to Xylem. All right, best of luck to both players. We are ready whenever. Perfect. So let's get going here, guys. We're very, very excited to see how this is going to turn out. Cozen and Lois, both good players. Um, I'll be interested to see. I did not check out the builds beforehand, so we will be uh, doing that on the spot here. I'm expecting to see a missile build. I'm expecting to see at least one missile build. All right, Cozen coming out with a laser quad mount. Uh, double barrel laser on the right, single barrel on the left, and then the double back mounted lasers. On the flip side, we have, very interesting, Bolas coming out with the double aperitif quad with what looks to be a laser drone on the left, and then I can't see what's on the right shoulder. Let me go check real quick here. We'll be casting from Kozen's perspective for the first round. And it is, in fact, a double laser drone on both sides for Bolas. So a very, very keep away oriented build here from Bolas, while Kozen has a very, very alpha heavy build. I'll be interested to see what player is going to be able to use the cover provided by Xylem better because there is quite a lot of it. Absolutely a ton. Uh, and thank you also, Winnowers, for pointing out that um, if you have finished your game, please let me know, or not let me know, but please input your win-loss on Challenge, and we will be able to do that. So, let's see, next up here, we have the initial salvo coming out here from Bolus. Doing a little bit of damage, but not as much as those Aperitifs absolutely could have. Does take Kozen up to about 66% stagger here. Well, not a single hit went through for Kozen. Have another salvo of those Aperitifs coming out. Assume we have those charged. Yep, we do have those charged laser drones coming out doing huge damage uh, per shot relative to, you know, their charge up time and their lock on time. Uh, it is, of course, also very easy to block those if you know that they're coming by putting yourself into and behind a wall, just like Kozen is doing now, making sure that they're able to avoid all of those pair of cheap shots, but the issue then being that they do leave themselves open to those laser drone shots, trying to be very stationary. So as we kind of make through, uh, make our way through here, Kozen... Oh, Kozen gets surprised by the kick here into a immediate assault armor. Pull shield comes out. Or Kozen blocks out a little bit of that damage. Bolas takes a bit of damage on the way out, but not too much. There we are. Laser drones still doing their work. Chipping away, chipping away at Kozen's health, whereas Bolas is consistently staying in a good spot. It looks like Kozen may have lost his opponent here. Uh, knowing that those, oh, those... Those aperitifs do come in. Of course, they are bugged on our side. We cannot see where they go. Uh, the players, of course, are able to see that. So well done to Bolus TV for really maintaining that distance in a very, very strong manner. Happy to see the, uh, the players really trying their best here. All right, next round, we will be following Bolus this time. Now, one other thing that I didn't mention before is that we do have the... Uh, Coral engine coming out from Bolus, whereas Kozen has one of the more energy-focused engines, which we would assume is focused more on the energy specialization rather than anything else to make sure that they have the most damage possible. A uh, little bit of chip damage coming out. Well, I say a little bit of chip damage. There's a lot of bit of chip damage down to maybe 15% down on Kozen coming from what I would assume are those laser drones there. The double back laser drones do so much. Uh, getting, getting the drop on Kozen, surprising them with the kick there dropping off another set of laser drones and then charging it up really trying to keep the distance as much as possible uncharged come uncharged lasers coming out doing a little bit of damage but getting stunned off on Kozen. I'm, i haven't seen ooh, wow a lot of kicks coming out from both players making use of that tremendous power available to the quad mounts 360 degree kicks as well as a tremendous amount of damage bolas and Kozen taking a lot of damage Bolas down to about 40%, but Kozen down to 20%. This is going to be even tighter than we anticipated initially. Uh, based on the first round, anyway, double laser drones going out. It's going to be up to Kozen to really try and avoid those, knowing that he needs to chase after Bolas. But Bolas, again, has those aperitifs, which they can use to really punish the chase. Here. Get the kicks, the initial kicks off, and those set those up for the aperitifs. Well done to Bolas for taking round and rounds one and two to bring that match to a close.
All right, let's see how these are going to change the game. It's really going to be all about how you're going to take advantage of that momentary smoke screen that you get and then get in on Bolas. Now that you, and the other thing is very interestingly enough, you don't have any damage coming out from your right and left hands, which may be a significant damper on that plan, but they do have the double plasma cannons coming out on the back, which could be absolutely huge here. So we will go, be going ahead and watching from Kozen's point of view. Uh, yes, Vox, if, if that is what you want, I would be more than happy to spec your match here. We are in uh, match two of potentially three here between Bolas and Kozen, uh, but I would be more than happy to if you're comfortable with All right, missiles coming out. Kozen being a little high. You can't uh, you can't drop the that, <laughs> that jamming round so high. Potentially maybe wants to use the buildings to their advantage, stay close to the buildings, but ooh, the kick coming out from Bolas, really going aggressive here, getting that massive damage out from both the kicks and the laser drones here. And at just as quickly as he appeared, he gets away up to the safety of the sky here. Those plasma cannons are not going to be able to do much of anything against the uh, against those vertical jumps here. All right, another, an assault armor coming out, doing a lot of damage, getting a stun off on Koz and Bolin. Or Bolus, excuse me, please. Excuse me as I misstep and talk over myself here. My tongue is too big for my mouth, apparently. But it's very, very interesting to see Bolus coming down and doing a lot of close range damage, supported by that laser drone just to flit away and you know, use the safety of the sky to his advantage. Um, unfortunately, he is trying his very, very best to avoid those stun guns and, you know, to be quite frank, doing a very, very good job of it. I'm really interested to see how, you know, despite the hard counter to the missile builds, they are doing a great job of coming in and doing a lot of close range damage using those uh, aperitifs when the jamming rounds are offline or if he's in the air. Looks like a little bit of manual aim coming out from Kozen trying to hit uh, those plasma cannon shots on the ground doing very close to a thousand damage plus, but very well done by Bolas to bring that to a close. So that's round one of match two going out for Bolas. We'll see if Kozen, now knowing how the, the opponent is going to react to this particular counter, is going to get on. So as we know, we have the laser cannons and the aperitifs coming out very quickly. Just a little bit of chip damage going through uh, for Kozen. Barely any. Avoiding the laser cannons, or the laser drone, excuse me, very, very well. Uh, and then Funny Man, if if, uh, if you would like to uh, withdraw from the tournament, that is absolutely fine. Go ahead and uh, let your opponent know, and then follow up with me here. Alright. Next up, we have or I guess going back to the game, Bolin, or Bolus, oh my goodness, I've said this a couple times now, Bolin, why do I say Bolin? But anyway, Bolus setting off those imperatives and then immediately going in for the big kick, going into the assault, dropping a stun on Kozen and then running away, but Bo uh, Kozen using that pulse shield to their advantage very, very well, predicting what was gonna come out of the gate here, knowing that those kicks are gonna come in though, needs to be uh, next on his priority list. Oh, the, uh, the initial charge spoiled, unfortunately, by an early kick here, although perhaps not early, knowing that uh, Bolas does tend to launch those kicks a little bit earlier than anticipated, uh, potentially to counteract the fact that he might be doing a count, uh, an assault boost versus an assault boost. All right, let's see. It looks like Kozen has potentially lost his opponent as of right now. Uh, they are going to be moving tactically around the environment. We do hear the aperitifs launching. They are on the ground here. Are they going to be able to get away from it? And unfortunately not. Kozen does take that second loss. Well done to both players. However, Bolas has come away with the win, even counteracting those jamming guns and really going in with the aggressive kick play style with that quad mounted build. Well done. Well done to both players.